Hey, what's up, Mr. Love here? Um, let's see, we're going to take a look at some, uh, some actually compound type circuits where we're um, trying to evaluate parallel and, uh, and series circuits, making some simplifications, finding currents and voltage drops across all the things. So um, the first thing we want to do is find the equivalent resistance um, and find the total current through it. So um, when you look at this circuit here, um, the thing that stands out at you is, uh, is consolidating these two resistors. Um, and when you have two resistors in series, uh, you just add the resistances. So that works out to be 13 ohms. Um, so what you get is a 13 ohm resistor in parallel with, um, with the 10 ohm resistor. Um, so if we're going to find the total resistance of this whole circuit, the formula for finding parallel resistance is a little more complicated. 1 over RT equals 1 over one of the branches, which is 13 ohms, plus 1 over the other branch, which is 10 ohms. Okay. If you evaluate this expression, uh, you get 1 over RT is equal to um, 0 0.077 kilonewtons plus 0 0.1. Um, and that's equal to uh, 0 0.19 or about, um, and that's equal to 1 over RT. RT then equals 5.6 ohms. Okay, now this 5.6 ohms here is um, these two resistors in parallel with that resistor. So now that you have that, um, you can actually go ahead and calculate the, uh, the total current that the battery is pulling out or putting out, and uh, that's just the total voltage divided by the total resistance. So it would be 12 volts divided by 5.6 ohms, um, and if you uh, solve that, it works out to be 2.1 amps. Um, okay, so now you have, uh, you've got calculated the, uh, the equivalent resistance, you got calculated the total current through the circuit. We're going to break this down sort of into a table format um, as to what the voltage, the, uh, the current, and power is through each of these resistors. Um, we can start filling this in with some of this information. So we have, uh, let's see, we've got three resistors. One of them is 5 ohms, one of them is 8 ohms, and one of them is 10 ohms. And now that we've found out this total current here, um, we can use this to sort of back solve if we find the current in each of these branches. There's lots of different ways to do this. Um, but because that asked for that specifically, we started there. What I would do next is solve for the voltage um, or solve for the current across just this one resistor here. Because this is a parallel arrangement, uh, the voltage from here to here is 12 volts. That means the voltage from here to here is also 12 volts. So it's pretty easy to find this current um, flowing through this section here. And that current, um, so the current through the 10 ohm resistor, is equal to, again, the voltage divided by the uh, resistance, which is 10 ohms. Uh, 12 divided by 10 is 1.2 amps. So we solved for this right here, 1.2 amps, which is the current moving through the 10 ohm resistor. Um, after that, what you can do is uh, you can do one of two things. Either you can combine these resistances um, and solve for the current based on this 12 volt um, force pushing it through, or you can simply subtract that 1.2 from the 2.1, and that'll give you the current through that branch. Let's see, what did we do here? We can, uh, the way I did it actually was combine these for 13 ohms. And so if you're looking for the current through both the 5 and the 8 ohm resistor, um, that would simply be 13, oh, I'm sorry, 12 volts divided by 13, which is the combined resistance. Um, and that gives you a current of 0 0.9. 2 amps. Because these two are in series, uh, the current moves through them um, equally um, because there's only one path for electricity to take. So here the, uh, the current would be 0 0.92 amps. And 
this would be 0 0.92 amps. Um, we said already that the full 12 volts is across this 10 ohm resistor, so there's 12 volts there. Um, and now we can go ahead and calculate the voltage drop across each one of these resistors because we have the current through it. You have the current and you have the resistance simply multiplying um, the, uh, the current by the resistance. V equals IR will give us the voltage. Okay, so if we have, uh, if we're looking for the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor, the, uh, the solution would look like this. Voltage is equal to the current, which is 0 0.92 amps times 5 ohms. Okay, and that would give us a voltage of 4.6 volts. So that's 4.6. Okay, and the, uh, the next one we have to solve for is the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. But again, the current is the same, 0 0.92 amps. And the, uh, the resistance is 8 ohms. So that gives us a voltage of 7.4 volts. This is 7.4 volts. Okay, and now you can go ahead and do a little bit of checking if you want, just to make sure things are working out pretty good. Um, we know in this parallel arrangement that there's 12 volts from here to here. If you look at the voltage drop across these two resistors, if we did the calculations right, they should add up to this 12 volts. So 4.6 and 7.4 do add up to those 12 volts, so that looks good. Um, and the current in these two branches add up to the total current. So we have 0.92 amps um, plus 1.2 amps equals 2.1 amps. Okay, so that stuff works out pretty well. The last thing we need to do is solve for the power. Um, and the equation we're using is P equals IV, power equals current times um, voltage. So we're simply taking the product of these two numbers. So through the 5 ohm resistor, we have a power of 4.2 watts. Uh, through the 8 ohm resistor, we have a power of 6.8 watts. And through the 10 ohm resistor, we have a power of 14.4 watts. Yeah, that's about it for this solution. Um, it ends up being a lot of work, but really you're only using two equations. You're using this V equals IR and P equals IV. Um, any questions, you can email me. Thanks a lot.